All right, so I made this last night and this was leftover batter. So I said, you know what? Maybe I'll just put this up really quick to show somebody something real quick and easy that you can do at home. Now it looks like a pancake, but it's using bread flour. So it has a more chewy bread type pull and texture to it than it does a pancake. And it also tastes like a brownie. So that's why I'm sharing this. So if you don't want to mix up and say, ah, I'm not kind of in the mood for chocolate pancakes, but I want some chocolate treat, um, but you don't want to whip up brownies or something, this is like kind of an in-between cool thing. So like I said, it looks like a pancake. I can't do it with two hands, but it pulls more like bread or a brownie that's crispy. So um, you know, I'm going to talk with my mouth. Mm, good, really good. So you can see how thick it is and what it looks like. And you can tell it's not like pancake inside. It's more brownie bread-like. Now, it doesn't taste like you're eating a loaf of bread because it's chocolate and sweet. This is artesian bread flour. And I think it's like, it's not, what's that called that people need nowadays? Gluten? Gluten-free? Where is it? It's not my camera, it's your eyes. You guys better go to the doctor and get your eyes fixed. Let's try this again. Let's see, are your eyes better yet? Rub your eyes, maybe it's your eyes. Yeah, I see it perfect. I don't know about you guys. Oh, there it is, your eyes are okay. All right, so that's what it's got in it. All right, so it tastes like bread. It's somewhere along the lines here, it says non-GMO. So, I don't measure this. Hold on one second. All right, so I don't measure it. Like, I think I might have put a cup of flour in because at first I was using it, uh, the container, as um, a regular bread. And then I decided to make it like this. So I made like three of them this size. So all you do is throw your flour in. Um, again, if you use all-purpose flour, it's going to be like a pancake. If you use the bread flour, I guess it's because it's got malted barley or whatever. So it gives it that chewy breadness, you know? Um, so what else is I going to say? So you just put that in, add just a little sprinkle of baking powder. Um, what else did I put in it? Uh, baking powder, chocolate, and this other chocolate I'm going to show you. And then you just add the water until it looks like a pancake batter, but you'll tell that it's different because of the bread. So it won't just start dropping off like pancake batter. It will have that pulley goo to it. When you get it to that consistency, you're good. And when you dump it in your pan on like medium, medium to medium high, um, some oil in the pan, you can use coconut oil, whatever. I used this olive oil here and it doesn't take away from the taste. It still tastes chocolate and like dessert. Um, get it nice and hot and then throw it in there. What you probably have to do is take a spoon and a spatula and kind of just spread it out a little bit because it will be a little bready. So, um, you know, it's not just gonna plop like a pancake and make a perfect circle. So you might have to spread it out like that. So I had gotten this free by accident. I normally don't buy it because it comes in a bag you can't recycle. Same thing with that Bob's flour. I'm trying to find something in a container. Um, this is my normal chocolate that I use because uh, it comes in a recycled container. But I had this as a free gift and it's getting closer to date and stuff. So I used that last night. They sent me something, they sent me this instead of what I really ordered. So I threw in some of that. Again, I don't measure it, I just put it into taste. And I had like maybe a half a scoop of this Vega One replacement meal chocolate. It's excellent, it tastes really good like chocolate. It's loaded with vitamins and minerals and protein. So I made my treat a little bit on the um, more nutritional side, I guess you can say. And then I added a little bit of this to sweeten it up because you know, obviously the cocoa has no sugar or anything in it. And it was only like one gram of naturally occurring sugar in the plant protein Vega One mix. So I added a little bit of this to get it sweet. You add to what, however sweet you want. I don't like my stuff too sweet. And uh, just stir it together with some cold water until I get you get it to that texture like I told you. And then you have like this brownie, chewy bread. It's about five to eight minutes, depending on your stove, I guess. You can make it as thick or thin as you want. I wouldn't go too thick and I definitely wouldn't go too thin. But uh, 
there you can see detective. So if you want something quick, easy, a little bit more filling than a pancake, different texture, brownie-like, and instead of making a whole thing of brownies and waiting 45 minutes, try it out. It's simple and it's easy. So you guys at home, if you watch or anybody that watches, that's just a quick, easy thing to do. And again, you can get a gluten-free bread mix if you want. Um, normally, I would have like oat flour, white rice flour, and um, what was the other one? I might have had like a bean flour or something, but they were out of stock, so that's why I got this. Um, and they come in containers like this so I can recycle them. This I can't get rid of, which really annoys me. Um, but there you go. You could probably do it with those flowers too. It might not have the same texture. It probably will have a pancake texture. Um, unless you can add something to it that would uh, give it like that gooiness, you know, like that breading gooiness like this has. So that is good because it really tastes like a gooey brownie on the inside and a crisp brownie on the outside. All right? Quick, easy treat. Lots of love. Bye.